Yeah, sure. In fact, you know, going into the 2012 season, you know, we made some changes. So when you're changing players in a team, you know, it's not a whole new team, but there are a lot of new faces. So with that being said, you know, the players it took them, you know, some time to get used to each other. And you know, as the season progressed, um, you know, the team was playing very well, creating a lot of chances. Um, sometimes we weren't getting the results that we wanted, but the fact that you know it was moving forward. So there was a lot of positives to look at and focus on. And I think that's what Ricky did. And um, you know, again, it was it was very very uh, it was very successful. Right, well, being a head coach and obviously looking at the team, you know, you're always trying to you know uh, communicate to the players that you know we don't lose at home. So with our record, not just through you know the last part of the season, but I think you know throughout the season, it was very uh, dominating. That you know when teams came here to play in Tampa, that you know they knew it was a hard place to play, and that uh, you know we didn't lose many games. So the confidence was there for the players, and again. You know, as you go through the season, the idea is to obviously get you know a very good spot for the playoffs, either finish first or second, which is what we achieved. And in doing so, you have the home field advantage, um, at least for the first, you know, for the semifinal. And having that, I think, was very, very important in getting us to the final round. And then, you know, obviously we played the final round against Minnesota, and losing the first leg there, but coming home, knowing what we've been able to achieve, to achieve during the season. And you know, here we are playing the championship game. We knew that there was an opportunity that you know, we just never say it died. The players went out there, they did their job, and in the end, it all came out. Yeah, I tell you what, it was, you know, the excitement was there, definitely. Uh, you know, it's a different time, but, uh, you know, leading up to the final game, because we lost the first leg, we as a team were very excited. And I know that, you know, we, the players got out to the community quite a bit during that final week. Uh, there was good preparation both on and off the field. So I think all that kind of consummated at the final game in the stands where you can see the fans were just really into the game as they have been all season. And uh, again, you know, you're playing for you know, the championship and the, the support was there. You always got Ralph's mouth. You know, they're always there singing their songs and, and, and doing their thing. And again, by creating that atmosphere, you know, I'm sure the players, I know from talking to them, they felt you know, that, that support so it was, you know, that combination that I think led us to, you know, obviously winning our first championship. Yeah, I tell you, it's, uh, you know, that's, that's called team management. I mean, you know, Ricky, obviously, you know, you got the first half of the game, the second half, and then you're playing, you know, 30 minutes, which we were fortunate to get to. Because, again, we had tied the series, and then, you know, they went ahead and we tied the aggregate in the 85th minute. So, especially going a man down in the 90th to play the 30 minutes extra was important for the team to, again, stay together, believe in one another, and, uh, you know, good things will come. So, getting to the final, what, last five minutes of the 30 minutes of extra time, you know, we can see a lot of things were going, you know, end to end. And, and, and towards the end, you know, I know in our penalty box, there was a few of our defenders that were throwing their bodies around, you know, making saves because, you know, again, we're playing a man short. And, this is for the championship. And when it came down to the penalty kicks, you know, I tell you what, Jeff Antonella was just phenomenal. There's no other way to put it. He guessed every which way, um, correct. Um, even the first one that Neil Navity scored, the one off the post, those are tough to get. But, you know, with, with Jeff being in goal for those PKs, you know, we did our job, he did his job, and as a team, we were very successful. Well, both those players that you mentioned are very important. In fact, uh, you know, Stuart Campbell obviously not only is a uh, starting center midfielder with experience, but he's also our assistant coach. So it was with his experience that he brought to the team, um, both on and off the field, that I think really, you know, kind of molded the team, along with, you know, Ricky being the head coach, that they worked well together, they complemented one another, and, uh, you know, in the end, obviously, you know, it was a positive. Um, seeing Luke Mulholland the year before playing with Minnesota, because he had just come out of the uh, USL Pro, um, you know, Luke was obviously I thought was very, very uh, good in the playoffs. Um, I think it was a difference for Minnesota. He kind of sparked the team. They tried to do the same thing with Jamie Watson this year from Orlando City, but uh, you know, Luke was solid all season long, not just during the playoffs. But those two players um, played a big role in not just the success of our season, but also winning the championship.
Well, there's many parts to obviously building a team. You know, and, and again, we had to start somewhere. So when we started the team in 2010. Obviously, we reached out. We hired our first coach, and again, we just started hiring players. It was their, you know, some of the guys. It was their first professional contract. So in knowing what we had the first year and where we needed to improve, I think you know, we obviously replaced the head coach. So we started at the top, and haven't known Ricky for the last 20, 22 years. Um, not only as obviously a player, but also as a friend. I knew, you know, Ricky, the way he managed the team, his knowledge of the game, and um, just the way he was as a person and his delivery to the players. I think as a franchise that's new and growing, that was very, very important, um, especially the players that were coming into this league that we were, you know, signing, that they need a little bit of nurturing, okay? We tried to mix, mix some experienced players with some players that were coming out of college, some players that have been playing in the league, so it was a, it was a good mix. And to bring that all together, we needed a, a coach with experience. And I thought Ricky brought that to the table. Um, you know, the way Ricky coaches, you know, as you can see, um, he, you know, he obviously reads winning into the players. Um, he's been a player himself, which we felt was very important. He can relate to the players. So all that was very, very important. Um, in regards to myself, you know, starting with the top and obviously moving down, we just seen some certain holes that we needed to fill. I think we were very fortunate to get Jeff Antonella, who was a standout at USF. Um, you know, Jeff was drafted by MLS, he did not sign, and then you know, the pieces kind of fell into place where he was, you know, came here and played. Um, he had an outstanding season, along with uh, a lot of the rest of our players. So I just think that as the season went on, um, there was a turnaround game in Minnesota where the players kind of fell together in the locker room and after the game. And again, I think we went on a seven game winning streak after that. But it's those kind of um, moments during the season that the players, their confidence builds, their character builds, and those are the kind of things you need to see through a season. And when it comes down to, you know, in the championship game, when, you know, you're down two goals or you're down a man, just you never quit. You know, whether you're playing at home or away, but fortunately we're playing at home, and you know what? It's an awesome game. Um, well, I tell you what, anytime you get the success early on as a franchise, you know, I think it's important because, again, you know, people knew that the Rowdies were here, they knew we were playing, they knew our season, but all of a sudden the fact that now we're having a very successful season, we finished in second place, we end up in the playoffs, and now we're in the championship game, I thought it, it brought a lot of uh, uh, notoriety to the team. Um, you know, people that were sitting on the fence, you know, yeah, I've been to a game, you know, I haven't gone back, or, you know, I haven't been to a game, I think, you know, now that you're playing it, in the championship, chance to win a trophy for this city, not only just for the team and the fans, but for, for the city of Tampa. I think a lot of people want to be part of that, and they showed that when they showed up. You know, obviously they came out and they supported us. So, again, you know, not many teams can go around and say they won a championship. You know, it's uh, our third year. Uh, we're very proud of that. We want to build on that. So, um, you know, it's an exceptional accomplishment. Well, the first message I would like to send to the fans is that I just want to thank them for their support and all their efforts, you know, through the season and into the championship. You know, um, again, we're a family. You know, obviously they support us. We support them. We hear them loud and clear every game, um, rain or shine, win or lose. They're always there for us. So my first is to thank them for for that. And obviously, from the success we had last year, we want to build on that and hopefully bring another championship team.